Ever wonder why punctuation is so important? Periods, commas, exclamation points? In the day the punctuation came to town, you get to learn all about these. This book tells the story of the punctuation family and their first day in a new school in Alphabet City. The letters start making words together and they all join in on the fun. Except for Kama, he feels like he's slowing things down. Watch what happens and get ready to learn along the way. The day punctuation came to town. A new family moved to Alphabet City. The punctuations. Exclamation point led the way to their first day at a new school. Let's hurry! <laughs> he exclaimed, I can't wait to get there. We are going to have so much fun. Exclamation point was always excited about something. Question mark wondered what it would be like. Do you think everyone will be nice? Are we going the right way? Should we ask for directions? Period followed, bringing the line to a close. Let's go. I'll tell you when to stop. Kama kept pausing. Wait for me, please. When they walked into school, exclamation point first forward. Hi, everyone! <laughs> the little letter stared. Who are you? They asked. You don't look like letters. <laughs> We're not letters! Exclamation point explained. We're the punctuation family! Punctuation who? The letters were confused. I'm exclamation point! And this is question mark, comma, and period. We're different from letters, but we love being around words. The punctuations join the class. The letters worked to make words. Exclamation point, question mark, and period joined in the fun. Exclamation point added excitement to words. Wow! wow. Question mark asked a lot of questions. Who? Period brought each sentence to a tidy end. Stop! Stop. Kama tried not to get stepped on and fit in wherever he could. Uh, oh. No. no. Why? Why? Go. Go. <laughs> As the day wore on, Kama began to feel smaller and smaller. The letters love making words, but I just get in the way and keep them apart. He whispered to himself. <sighs> no one wants me here. When no one was looking, Kama snuck out the door. Yay. Inside the classroom, exclamation point was creating a great deal of excitement. <laughs> Letters were cheering and hurrying to make words. Shouldn't we quiet down? Question mark asked. <laughs> but no one heard her over the noise. The letters kept making words faster and faster and faster. Soon words were everywhere. There were so many words, they all became jumbled. Period hurried to stop them, but the letters tripped over her and collided. With a thundering crash, the letters fell one after another until they all tumbled through the door, spilling into the hall. Kama stared in shock. The letters were piled, the words all tangled. Exclamation point, question mark, and period ran into the hallway. They saw the heap of letters, and then they saw Kama. What are you doing out here? Question mark asked. 
I didn't think anyone wanted me around. Kama sighed. I just slow everything down. Kama, without you, things become a disaster! Exclamation point said, pointing to the pile of letters and words. Period nodded. Slowing things down is your job, and words need you. Didn't you know? When we're with words, we all have a job to do, question mark asked. I had excitement! <laughs> Exclamation point burst out. Have a question? Question mark asked. That's what I'm here for. And I put a stop to things. Period said. We're the punctuation family, and we all work together to help letters and the words they make. The punctuations help the letters back into the classroom. When the letters began making words again... Yes, yes please. please! Kama stood right in the middle. The letters looked confused. What are you doing? It's my job, Kama said. From now on, I'll help keep things in order. How? The letters asked. It was Kama's turn to explain. We all work together. Words need punctuation. And punctuation needs words. Yeah. I'm glad Kama learned how important he is. And I learned that too in this book's activity. In this activity, I used commas to fix silly sentences. This says, let's eat mom. That's gross. Let's just add a comma to that. And there you go. Let's eat mom, not gross. The little eye who lost his dot. The alarm clock rang to the alphabet song. Little Eye sat up, stretched, and rubbed his eyes. Last day of alphabet school! He saw his letter friends on the playground and hurried to join them. Little G gasped. <gasps> little P pointed. Huh? And little S stared. Little I, they said. Where is your dot? Little I looked up. He looked to the left. Huh? He looked to the right. Huh? But his dot was gone. Uh, what will you do without your dot? Little A asked. Little W whimpered. <laughs> Little H handed her a hanky. All of the letters crowded around Little I. Don't worry, they said. We'll help you find a new dot. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. The school bell rang. It was time to make words. All the little letters scrambled into school. But little eyes friends didn't forget their plan. When they got to the classroom, the letters looked around. 
Little A asked, How about this acorn? <laughs> Little B burst forward with a balloon. <gasps> oh. Little C cried, Try on this clock! Little D dashed over with a donut. <laughs> Little E exclaimed, An egg is exactly what you need. <laughs> Little F followed with a flower. <laughs> Little G giggled when he found a gumball. <laughs> Little H handed over a hula hoop. Hmm. Jay joked, <laughs> How about a jumping bean? <laughs> Little K knew the answer a kiwi. Little L lit the line with a light bulb. <gasps> Little M made her way over with a marble. Oh. Little N nodded to a music note. <laughs> Little O opted for an oyster shell. <sighs> Little P presented a pretzel. <laughs> Little Q questioned, How about this quarter? Ooh. Little R raced over with a ring. Whoa! Little S scared him with a spider. Ah! Little T thought a thumbtack would do. <laughs> oh. Oh. Little U urged him to carry an umbrella. Little V ventured forward with a valentine. Aww. Little W walked over with a wheel. <laughs> Little X's extra special idea was a xylophone mallet. Little Y yelled, wear this yo-yo. Little Z, always last, zoomed over with a zero. Oh, 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 oh. Little I tried them all on, uh, but nothing uh, felt right. <laughs> when school ended, all the little letters went out to where their parents were gathered. Little I saw his father <laughs> hey, hey, Dad. and sniffed back tears. <laughs> I lost my dot. Oh. <laughs> Capital I smiled. No, little I, you didn't lose your dot. You left it on your pillow this morning. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I brought it along, but since today is the last day of school, and you've grown up, I'm not sure you need it anymore. What do you think? Do you really think I'm ready to be a big eye? Capital I nodded. Stretch out your arms and point out your feet. Little I did. And when he saw his shadow on the ground, he smiled. Dad, I look just like you. I can start a sentence now.
If you don't have books, what are you waiting for? It's a kid-safe, ad-free library full of storybooks that are brought to life. Ask your grown-up and start exploring more fun stories like these. Seriously, you have to check it out. Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Vux app for free today.